So my dissertation work investigates how white students conceptualize white allyship. In other words, what is white allyship to white students? To answer this question, I utilized a mixed methods approach across two studies. In the first study, I interviewed 23 white college students in 2018 about their understandings of white allyship. And in my second follow-up study, I anonymously surveyed over 450 white college students in 2019 about their understandings of white allyship. And I found a few interesting patterns that I wanted to share with you. So firstly, I found that white students were thinking about white allyship in roughly 11 different allyship conceptualizations, including intervening in explicit racism, engagement in productive race dialogue, political engagement, and friendship with people of color, to name a few of those 11. But in this discovery, I also thought, why are white students conceiving white allyship in these differing ways? And one factor that I found that may be at play here was racial ideology. For instance, the interviews I conducted, I noticed that the same students who conceptualized friendship with people of color as an allyship behavior were also those who seemed to possess a colorblind ideology, saying things like, I just treat everyone equally and a person is a person. So in these students' mentality, minimizing race or ignoring racial identity was the key strategy to avoiding racism. Hence, friendship was the clearest allyship behavior or allyship strategy to, to performing. But of course, the danger here is that these students were also those who were less likely to mention any other type of allyship behavior because to them, friendship as an expression of sameness and colorblindness was the only version of allyship necessary. And the next and final interesting pattern that I discovered was the role of college in these students' cognitive development of allyship. In the interviews I discovered that those who were farther along in their college experience had more sophisticated and more varied conceptualizations of allyship. It seems as if potential factors in differing conceptualizations may actually be racial diversity experiences, such as taking race-related coursework and being involved in race-related co-curriculars, which of course are more likely to happen in college. And these patterns that I discovered were discovered largely qualitatively. So I'm now curious in testing the role of racial ideology and racial diversity experiences in a quantitative model, which is what I'm currently working on within that second anonymous survey study I mentioned earlier. And of course, with this work, I just hope to close that sometimes wide gap between intention and outcome amongst allies by illuminating these lay theories of white allyship and of unpacking what is white allyship to white college students. and. Finally, just a final thank you again to my partner, my parents, and all of my family who showed up today. Thank you.